Welcome back, this is Madan. In this video, we are going to learn how we can add simple search functionalities in our MBC demo project. So, here we are in our project, and let's first fire up the server. .net What's wrong? And it's going to take a little bit of time. Let's head over to the browser and let's refresh. So here our project up and running. I'm gonna go over to page controller, and what we wanna do is we want to add a search box here. And uh, when you click on the search, then we'll filter the list of the pets down the table. So let's get started. First, let's head over to the slide and see what the things we need to do. So in our view, we need to add a uh, input uh, to give the search text so we add uh, some input controls and the uh, submit button and style them with the bootstrap class and uh, we put that input and submit inside the form and we post that form back to the index action of the controller so let's see Go back to the controller and see the index action. In the index action, we add one uh, default parameter and initialize that value to null. And uh, we perform the conditional operation here. We check if the string is null, then we are going to return all the pets from the database to the view. And if the string is not null or empty, then we are going to filter the pets based, based on the value of the search provided here and return those found fares to the view and we also need to write a method add a method to our repository interface so here we will be adding a search pet method which is going to return the list of the pets and it takes one source parameter which is of type string and uh, we provide the implementation of search pets in our repository class pet repository class and uh, here what we do is uh, we have a method that takes uh, uh, search as an input parameter to this method and uh, what we do is we go to the database and uh, find the pets uh, based on these conditions so we want to find the pet that name contains the Mm, contains the name uh, given in the source parameter or we also want to find the pet which color matches the input given in the source parameter or we also want to find the pet uh, which age matches with the source string passed to the uh, method so the type of age is integer so we need to convert this source string into integer first so here we define the integer variable and we try to convert this uh, uh, source string uh, which is of type string into an integer by using uh, in 32 dot try parse method and uh, we uh, store the uh, conversion result into the uh, age variable and we need to make the type of age variable output here because the try, try parse method gives the output into output variable and what try parse does is it tries to uh, convert the given string parameter into the integer and if the conversion is successful it returns true if not it returns false so if they can just to make our code a little bit uh, error proof we just gonna check if the success is um, uh, if the conversion is uh, uh, successful or not so if the conversion is not successful we just store zero to our age variable so this is all we need to make changes to our repository so let's jump back to the code and um, start making changes from our view so here I am in the index view of the pet 
and what you're gonna do is we're gonna add a form here form and we are posting our search input from this form to ASP action index index action of the page controller so here we can also specify ASP controller equal to page but this index view is rendered by the page controller so this method is optional if you like you can pass it to make it uh, readable so we are going to specify the method as post method here and let's add a div class row and input group give it a class of input group and uh, let's provide the input text box input type equal to text and name equal to search id equal to search and let's give it a class of uh, form control to style the input text and after that we wanna add a small search button at the end of this input text so let's add a div here or we can also do spawn let's do div for now div class equal to input in input group dash btn because we are gonna append the button at the just right at the end of this input text so this is the bootstrap styling class and uh, let's give it input type equal to submit value equal to search and let's style it with the class btn btn dash primary and with this let's head over to the browser and see what we have got let's refresh and we have got the input button input text box here and with the search button but this doesn't look like what I want it to make so let's go back and let's see uh, I need I made a typo in the input group class let's head over and refresh class row input group I got a slide here row input group and form control input group button input group button I need to remove this from here and put it down here so that we will cover both input and the button inside one input group this should work now let's head over and refresh and it looks as expected so here we provide the search text and click on search and when we click on the search this is gonna push back to the index action of the pet controller this is gonna push back to the index action of the pet controller so here when we click the search button uh, the form will be posted back to this index method and uh, we need to accept the value submitted by the form to the index method so let's give it a parameter and I'm gonna initialize this parameter with the null so this is a default type of parameter we need to make sure that uh, this value name here should match with the this name and id value so let's implement the code in our controller so if the user doesn't provide any source text then 
if we leave this blank and click on the search then we need to display all the pairs from here so in that case but if the user provides some input to the search input box then we want to filter the pet so we want to check the condition here put the condition to check if the search is null or empty so this can be done with if a string dot is null or empty this will check if this is string if the provided string here is null or empty as yes, yes, search if if this string this value here what whatever coming here is not an empty value or not a null then we are gonna use this value and filter the pairs from the database table based on this value so let's define a variable here variable count pairs equal to page repository the search page and we are gonna pass this value here and once we get the pairs uh, filtered according to this value we're gonna return this to the view return view and found pairs but if this value is a uh, null or empty then the code this code will never execute and uh, we get uh, the all the pairs from the database table and return back to this view so of course we don't have we have not defined the source page methods in our page repository so let's copy this and define this method so at first i'm gonna head over to ipad repository and define a method here which is gonna return the list of pairs and our name of method is source page and it requires it takes one parameter of type e string once we do that our i pet repository interface is complete let's head over to the pet repository and let's implement our method list of page search page and let's implement the method here implement interface and so from here we want to go out to the database and find the pairs uh, filter the pairs according to this search so i'm going to return context dot go out to page tables dot where apply the condition p goes to p dot name that contains if the name contains search then we want to return that or we also want to return the page if the color contains the search value or we also want to return the page if age contains if age equal to equal to the age passed into the search string but we are gonna create a new variable called age here and convert this string into the integer and use it here because this age is a type of integer so in order to compare this we want to convert this search into uh, integer first and at last we want to execute our sql command let's break down this into multiple line and we want to create a new variable here age and what we need to do is we need to convert this search string into a age uh, into an integer so this can be done by using int 32 dot try parse we want to parse the search string and we want to store that into age and this 
triparse in 32 the triparse returns a bool value so let's store this into bool value and it returns true if the conversion is successful otherwise it returns false so if the conversion is false then we just want to store a is equal to zero with this our implementation of the method for filtering the records from database has been completed so at this point of time our search functionality should work as expected so let's head over to the browser and refresh it and when we when the user doesn't provide any value and click on search and it will go out and find out all the values but if i provide a name if we provide the name let's say cat then here the pairs that name contains cat uh, are at three in number cat cat1 cat2 so it returns it should return cat cat1 and cat2 let's search and as expected it returned cat cat1 and cat2 if we just want to search for cat1 then it should give us a cat1 or if we want to search the pair that name starts with rat r then we can do that rabbit or we can also search the pair based on our based on the color so if we keep white color here and search then it filter the pet with the color white if we want to filter the pet with their age let's say 2 we want to find all the pet whose age is 2 then we can simply do 2 and it will give us back the pet whose age is 2 uh, alright that, that's it for now I'll see you soon and thanks for watching